Welcome to Bring Out Your Geek, Talking Walking Comics, issues 35 through 37. Yay! Super excited, because I came super prepared. <laughs> Poor teens just had to go through about 15 minutes of me going, I'm ready, no I'm not, no I'm not, where's my nose? But <laughs> so tolerant and supportive that we're good to go. Yeah, anytime you're nicer, you give me compliments, I'm just like... <laughs> the other shit drop. Yeah, it's a yeah. So I got yeah. That's a problem because <laughs> it, it just it you know it felt a little unnatural if that's you know it's right. But I was I was being very flexible, supportive, and non snarky, and it 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 scared Gene. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, is that uh, is that like pulling you know steel needles through your cheeks or? Uh, I can't say I liked it. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Excellent. There you go. All right. So issue number thirty-five. Um. <clears throat> well, let's let's just say we we left off on thirty-four with um. Rick and them. So uh. Glenn, Rick, Michonne, and Martinez showing up at the prison to see that it's been overcome by walkers. Um. The cover for 35, I want to say, is pretty awesome and quite gruesome. It's a great big gaping maw of a, of a, a walker zombie. Yeah, which so apparently the, the not only does the skin go bad right away, tooth decay becomes <laughs> comes rocking at you in a <laughs> teeth, but you really start to... You know, it looked almost like the rejected Rolling Stones logo. <laughs> it started with this one, and like, no, no. And, but uh, yeah, I, the Rolling know, Stones logo was to turn into a zombie. That's what this would be. That's, yes, All it right. was gruesome. I will give you that. Yeah, it was a nice, big, up close, gaping zombie maw. Great band name. <laughs> there you go. Zombie <laughs> maw. Zombie Rolling maw. Stones zombie maw. Um. So they have to fight to get to the prison, uh, and the first um, prison inmates, because they are, <laughs> they come across are Dale and Andrea. Um, and Glenn decides that he is going to um, drive the car that they had into the prison. Like an idiot. Yeah. Crazy so. Maggie Love. Glenn's judgment is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Crash. I'm going to save you by crashing the car into a wall. Yeah. So he's out. And, oh, Alice. Alice is with them as well, which was Stephen's nurse. Yes. And so she starts taking care of Yul Brenner because that's what he looks like. Indeed he does. Still. <laughs> I just, yeah. I just like to see him putting his hands on his hips sometimes, kind of talking to people in the classic King of Siam pose. But uh, we don't, Shall we, we dance? Don't, yes, yes. I don't think that will happen. So. Um, yeah, there's there, and so Andrea and Dale are in the RV, eventually start to figure out, and, I, and kind of in the process, I think, of coming in is when we learn that uh, future Mensa member Otis is no longer... Um, no longer on team non-zombie, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> He's a biter now. He's meat. Okay. Yes, and Dale also tells uh, Rick that Herschel has been bit. Yes, yes, which is a scare. Cause mm -hmm. Lots of bad news, including a Herschel bite. So. Yeah, and I wanted to mention, I, I love um, the conversation that happens here between you know, Andrea and Rick and, and Dale and, and they're, you know, there's, they're all chatting and there is absolute crazy carnage happening in the background on all these panels and it just sort of rocks because there's sound effects going on and heads flying and <laughs> it's awesome. Because if, it, which, because you know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big um, proponent for all of the chatting that goes on in this <laughs> Well, about there are certain subjects that you've been very clear. You do not want to hear about <laughs> prison clotheslines. These are, you know, any new clothing, you know, this is not something you're interested in. Romantic backstory, not, not interested. interested. In. So, yeah, you've been clear on that. 
previous job experience. Not interested. <laughs> not, not interested. So, um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of, like, sort of chatter that goes on that I get really bored with, and I have to say this did help with that sort of chatter. <laughs> so, the, so, the key is, so the key is any kind of meaningful dialogue needs to be punctuated with zombie deaths around it <laughs> yes. in terms of... Would that help this show out, you think? <laughs> 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 Couldn't hurt. Well, yeah, it'd be a nice touch. So. I don't think we have that kind of production value. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe the zombie puppets, zombie sock puppets. <laughs> Little sock puppets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe next show. Tune in. <laughs> maybe the <laughs> advent of zombie, which is another great uh, band name, zombie sock puppets. It is a good one. I have to put mm-hmm. that one. All right. Tweet that. Possibly an episode name. Who knows? <laughs> um, so uh, we find out once they actually get into the prison that Herschel was not bit. He was barely grazed. By friendly fire. <laughs> now, now, who, now, who do you think, if, if you were to predict who nicked Herschel with friendly fire... It has Lori's name all over it, so I miss. I juggle a gun when I try and shoot it. Or Patricia, I would think maybe Patricia. Ah, there's maybe another one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You might. Still probably confused on what side she's on. <laughs> These zombies are nice. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, she's a little confused. Yeah, I'm gonna blame Lori. I hate Lori. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. I'm on board with that. I'm on board with the blame Lori train. Excellent. Um, and, uh, so there's a nice little reunion between Lori and Carl and Rick. Aw. Sort of nice, because Carl's initial reaction to Lefty <laughs> is... <laughs> to Daddy No Hands? <laughs> Daddy, yeah. Daddy No Juggle No More, uh, is, um, a little scared. Yeah. But, yeah, and they, they have a way of drawing him... Um, Carl, very specifically, because he's always got his dad's hat on, where they darken his entire face except for like his eyes, and they're huge and like anime-sized when he's scared. Uh, Tyrese steps in and says, "We're going to go clear out the prison," and tells Rick to stand down, which does not go over well because you know they're sort of, I don't know, not getting along lately. Which, you know, I'm glad he didn't say, Rick, you need to sit on your hands, because that would have really been not cool. <laughs> that would have been rude. That would have been, he told him to sit it out, sit one out, but he didn't didn't say, you know, rest your hands and feet or anything like that, because right. all those things would have been not cool. But he, you know, and I do think this is a, maybe a little less on the Rick and Tyrese not getting along, and a little bit of Tyrese going like, you know, you're maybe rest for now. You know, since you yeah. appear to have gone through some things, uh, maybe maybe you need to regroup. You appear to have lost a hand. Maybe you should rest. I don't yes. know. <laughs> that looks like that might hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, so uh, then they they start clearing out bodies and burning bodies, and Rick. Uh, let's see here. So no, I'm wrong. Well, before, well no, yeah, because they're burning. When, go, to, go ahead. I was going to talk about Glenn. Glenn yes, yeah. yes, so Glenn yes, puts a halt awesome. to, the, to the body burning. Only, it was running only out the female bodies. <laughs> Which yeah. is, you know, it was a night, can, and I can get, you know, so here's here's the request, you know, hey, can you not burn the females for a while? <laughs> you know, and just, you know, and that's, you know, that, that's it. That's all it's, the request. Yeah, and they, they leave it dangling there for a little bit, so it's sort of creepy. Like, okay, thanks. <laughs> you know, it's like, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. But and I'm uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Then we learn why. Yeah, but yeah. Alice uh, says she's going to help Lori out with her giving birth scenario. She's listening to the tummy and blah 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 blah. <clears throat> Sounds like Shane to me, <laughs> which was odd. <laughs> she didn't know Shane, but this baby sounds crazy and a little belligerent. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Baby comes out with two hands, you know. <laughs> you know the shades of that. Rubbing his head and acting crazy, yeah, yeah. twitching. Picking fights. Um, so Andrea uh, catches Michonne having another conversation with herself. Mm-hmm. Again, it just... I... What? 
Uh, and Glenn finds what he's looking for off one of the female bodies. Which is not so scary after all, after the big lead into to go save the women. <laughs> you know, it's because <laughs> he's looking for a ring for Maggie, which is a, I, I guess, a nice gesture. <laughs> but, um,. I gotta assume, isn't there? Wouldn't there? Well, I guess this was a this was a this was a male prison though, so there's probably like no property room anywhere. Right. Where he's got to get it off a a dead body, a dead zombie. Blech. But he finds a nice one. <laughs> he does finds a, finds a nice ring, and I don't know. Maybe he cleans it. Maybe he doesn't. I hope he does. <laughs> Pulls the finger out at least. I was gonna say at least at least you pulled the finger out. <laughs> Um, and then we learned that Martinez is gone. And Rick goes, ding! I know yeah. what that means. He's Whoops. not happy. Yeah. Uh, and so Dustin's moved... 35. Yeah. Uh, so then we move to 36, which is a cover of a... The cover is a nice, clean, clear prison yard with one person, one, one inmate standing and one kneeling. So you get the idea that it's probably Glenn and Maggie. So you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> it, it looked to me like Rick was proposing to Tyrese. <laughs> I, was, I, had, I had no, I had no idea. I'm sorry. We've been fighting. <laughs> but, but as I as I got through the episode, I said, "Let me go back and look at that cover again." Perhaps my initial assessment of of Rick and Tyrese oddly in the prison yard was incorrect, um, and it was. I would say Glenn and Maggie is what they were trying to show. Well, I think there's still there's still room for interpretation there, which we can talk about later. Um, I have to stop saying um so much. I do say that a lot, don't I? It's ridiculous. <sighs> At least you don't say episode. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, now that you said that, it will. Rick takes the RV and goes after Martinez. Uh, and when he leaves, Carl asks Tyrese, like, does my dad like me? Because he leaves a lot. And Tyrese um, is a little not gentle with his gets <laughs> right in Carl's face. Your dad has stuff to take care of. <laughs> oh, shut your little mouth. <laughs> I'm proposing to that man when he comes back. <laughs> oh, yeah. So wrong. Cuts back to Rick, and Rick uh, hits Martinez with the RV. Yes, he does. So this is kind of... So this is... Um, this is interesting. Uh, so I kind of like I, I think our spoiler rules are: uh, if you're listening to this, you, you, you yeah, know, yeah, there's spoilers. <laughs> we, we live on the good ship spoiler, so <laughs> yes, and, and so, so, so you know, I found this was was interesting that um, in the I'm trying to think in the in the television show whether he hit him. I know he chased him down. I can't remember if he hit him with the RV or not, but. Um, but this struck a strong parallel to the recent episode where he ran down the cop. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Just, Although I thought Martinez was killed by the governor in the show. Remember uh, they were on top of the RV or whatever. Uh, in the show, oh, that's right. Yeah, so he didn't. He yeah. didn't. Yeah, they they played it. Uh, there wasn't a there wasn't a spy either. So yeah, so that's that's happened in the television show. How did yeah. I remember that and you not? That's just so wrong. <laughs> It's kind of like a big piece too. The old playing golf on the because this was the golfing governor, which is totally not <laughs> the golfing uh, governor. <laughs> comic governor does not, you know, maybe maybe putt putt with some beer, but he does not strike me as a, a much of a golfer or comic governor. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, the but it did. I just saw a lot of parallels between um, uh, Rick utilizing a vehicle to take somebody out. But I, and I can I can see like because I think that's. That's sort of a, um, I mean, you know, we are we are talking Walking Dead, so I, I know this is probably going to sound morbid, but, you know, it is zombies and walkers, and it's all morbid. So I, I think that's sort of a, a fun notion that maybe they didn't get to play out, so they got to, you know, sort of, they, they added it later um, when he hits the cop with his own car. <laughs> Which is cold. <laughs> I know, right? 
<laughs> Not bad enough you're going to run the man over. You're going to do it in his own car with a photograph of him and his kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm, at least he didn't like, pull the photo out like throw it on the guy. <laughs> you know, say, yeah. yeah, and then it was interesting. So uh, crumpled uh, Martinez is uh, yes. having a little dialogue with Rick uh, post our viage and uh, basically infers you're really no better than the governor. Uh, which, uh, you know, he's saying, I was going back, I think the governor's crazy too, but I was going back to tell our folks because you've got things, and you're, you two and the governor are basically the same. Right. Which I thought was interesting because he, to some degree, has a point uh, in that the governor, now Rick's not chopping people's hands off and feeding them to, to zombies, right? but they're both open to saying, I'm going to, if you're in my way in terms of what I want to achieve, I'm going to kill you. Right. Yeah, I think the I think the the governor. Is, I mean, I, Martinez. I don't know that he really understands the governor as well because he seems to be surprised by a lot of the things that happened uh, with Rick and the group there. So I think from his perspective, he's probably pretty correct. But if if he were to be able to see it from Rick's perspective, perhaps not because Rick's not maiming people. Um, and you know keeping heads in tanks and, he's, you know, he's, rape and pillage and all that nonsense. No. Nope. So, uh... yeah. But I think I think you're right. I think fr from what Martinez has seen, um, and like I said, because he seems really surprised when some of these things go down, um, you know, like he, like he sees Rick in the infirmary and he's like, hey, what happened with your hand? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Touching the door, you know. Just... <laughs> Man, he's really pissed. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Hands gone. He's angry. I don't get it. Um, so, <laughs> so I think, I think there is some some parallel that he could probably draw. I don't know that anybody else who is close enough to the governor would probably draw that kind of a parallel. He seems to be a little blinded, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's dead now. Who cares what he thinks? <laughs> opinion no longer matters. No, but it's not the last. It's, yeah, it's not the last we'll see of him, but it, he's dead. So, um, um <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Basically, Martin Martinez lays this whole thing on him, like his people deserve to be safe too, and you've got plenty of room. And Rick's like, you're all a bunch of animals. Which is Rick projecting, in my opinion, <laughs> the behavior <laughs> of the governor. A little bit, perhaps. So then, um. Sophia asks Carl if his dad's hand is going to grow back because she's been reading biology books, apparently about, like, lizards and stuff that grow things back. Apparently and, horrible biology books. <laughs> she was led to believe this was a possibility. And uh, Carl basically tells her, shut up, stupid. Hmm? It's a little bit, a few more panels than that, but... That was the same. And she says, you're mean... And he's like, okay, I'm sorry, are, we st are you still my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, all right. What other choice do I have? <laughs> Otis is gone, he was next to me. The other 10-year-old here, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Again, and... I'm sort of like, do we really even need to have this conversation? Can we just skip? Yeah, the, yeah, the whole, uh, will your dad's hand grow back vignette <laughs> could have, I, I could have lived without, but... yeah. Um, but it, does... it, it has no influence on the plot. It serves really no purpose other than, than the fact that maybe somebody needs to be watching more carefully over her education. I'm not sure. Well, she's jail schooled, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do that. Glenn um, then asks Herschel uh, for Maggie's hand in marriage, and he has a proviso. Do you know yeah. what that is? No prego. <laughs> exactly. Sure. The, that's the prego. Italian <laughs> no prego. <laughs> so we didn't know her show was Italian, but uh, yeah, he just <laughs> says I, I don't think that's a good idea. Which is kind of an interesting <laughs> way to give permission, but these these are interesting times. True. So, so fair enough. And then uh, Rick heads back wheel of more Rick Laurie time. Always treasure that. And he asked Lori if, because he killed Martinez, 
is he evil? Kind of maybe reflecting on some of the things Martina says. And Lori, being Lori, says nothing. <laughs> this is nothing of any consequence, yeah. Just... Then uh, Glenn proposes to Maggie, but not in the yard, on, in the cover, someplace inside. So, like I said, it's sort of open to, it's another one where they're misleading you as to sort of what to expect. Yes, there was a proposal, <clears throat> but not, you know, in, that didn't take place in the yard. So there could still be Rick and Tyrese. It could be. <laughs> I don't think it was. But be upon further reflection. But if you look at it, maybe you can see where I was, was coming well, from. Well, yeah, because Maggie's got that crazy short hair and Glenn is bald. So from a distance, everybody's wearing prison uniforms. Yeah. It's a little, yeah, I can see what you're saying. Sure. Yeah, but I was, I was clearly wrong. I became aware that I was wrong, but it was my initial interpretation um, was that. Right, and one of the, one of the things that Rick is concerned about in that discussion with Lori, too, I wanted to point out is the fact that he was not upset about Martinez dying at all. Again, really strong parallel to the television show that mm -hmm. when he takes that guy out, then he tells him to shut. I mean, just that same kind of indifference. Yes. Oh, just kind yeah. of hard edge. And then Rick has a meeting, and basically the gist of the entire meeting is. Um, People are going to want to come and take what we've got, so let's be ready. Yep. Okay. And then we come to 37. Yes, indeed. Which is about just that cover. Crappy cover. You, see, you knew I was not going to like that cover. You knew it. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Yeah, and so and I've... <laughs> so, to... Promote the show, Jeans, to promote our little talking show. I was thinking maybe that there should be a recreation of that cover with me as Laurie and you as Rick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the most horrific looking thing ever. I mean, that's about the only thing that could make it worse. It is such a horrible, horrible cover. So, so the cover is Rick standing behind Laurie holding her belly, essentially. Yeah. And yeah. they're both looking like crap. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I didn't like anything about that cover at all. No, I didn't either. I, there's about five million other things I really would have liked to have seen other than that. Yes. And they, <sighs> Lori's belly and Rick's uh, stuff Good hand. heavily. I yeah. mean, you can, you can, uh, it just, I didn't like the cover. So let's no. move on. Let's move yeah. on. To let's this. move I like on. the so story we, better we, than the cover. We open with a flashback of Shane. And what's better than that? That's Shane. Right. <laughs> A little bit of shame. It's Shane. Yay, Shane. Yeah, but then, but she and so she's there's remorse. Yeah. Coursing through Lori at this point in time. <laughs> well, and I th I just I really I was so annoyed with this whole. So they have this flashback, right, of her and Shane shortly after having played basketball. If we're going to continue our. <laughs> <laughs> our metaphor from previous shows. Yes. And, you know, so then she's laying there in the, in the prison cell and she, she's thinking of this or whatever, and then Rick's like, what you thinking? <laughs> she's <just> like, <laughs> well, I don't know, Shane's stuff. I mean, Carl, Carl stuff. I'm thinking Carl stuff. <laughs> yeah, Carl, Carl, right? Carl, yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and, and then, again, in kind of the, in this process, too, then Rick's kind of like, oh, I need to build build a crib, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's like, what am I thinking? Where 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 is my crib schedule that I need to go ahead and and again, probably not a lot of um, uh, crib material in the prison would be my guess. Uh, so he's gonna have some challenges there. I'm thinking, given what we've seen so far, that they'd be lucky to have that child in a cardboard box like a kitten. I think, I, I think uh, yes, I would agree. <laughs> not going to add any to that. <laughs> okay. Nothing constructive to say. No, not at all. Carol and Alice become friends um, in the infirmary. And Carol says that she's got a good feeling about this friendship. Dun, dun, dun. Exactly. 
the last thing you want to hear from Carol. I know, point. right? Oh. No, flee, run away, run away. Uh, Patricia and Billy Bond, which is kind of funny because Billy's been, like, nowhere. The only thing that I could think of was that that one guy I couldn't figure out who he was at the garden maybe was Billy. I think it was Billy. Okay. I think it was. Yeah, he's he's was never really kind of developed as much of a character. <laughs> I don't know, no, he's, he's sort of few and far between. He got a, he's got a couple little moments, but... Um... None of them are particularly good. <laughs> so. No. Glenn and Maggie get married in a ceremony officiated by Herschel. Do you, while not getting her pregnant, agree to not get her pregnant and take <laughs> her hand while not getting her pregnant? It was, it was a little awkward in terms of the delivery. but. And then they go play basketball. Yes, they do. Yes. And then it cuts to this strange thing where Michonne crawls into Tyrese's bed and he looks absolutely terrified. <laughs> she like curls up next to him and he's just like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, and he doesn't know her recent governor activities yet. I don't believe no. that's been shared, which, you know, if he knew that, I think it's pretty reasonable to kind of... kind of. Does he know she's talking to herself? Uh... So I don't think. I think maybe so, Andre. Someone uh, would have had to share it with him. Okay. Uh, and so I don't, I don't think so. But okay. uh, yeah, he definitely looked perplexed to say the least. Um, but she goes to uh, comfort for him, and uh, I believe more basketballs. And no, maybe not yet. Can't recall. There's more. Tyree, there's some more Tyrene and uh, Tyrene, Michonne and Tyrese basketball coming up. I can't remember if it happens at this point, whether it's just hold me at this point. She's had a rough go. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so trivia, all of a sudden, um, you know, we keep getting mentioning of uh, the DVD library at the prison. Mm -hmm. And we learned the first show was... Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten Cop. And what's, <sighs> what's, what gets the next shout out? I oh I I didn't see that what Turner and Hooch. <laughs> so. It is a good movie though. I like that movie. It was yeah yeah I liked it. Um I don't know why it's in a Walking Dead comic but I like it. But so it's a little '80s nostalgia. Uh, it's a yeah and I guess when you're picking your DVD catalog for a prison, um you probably want to pick the. You probably don't want Dog Day Afternoon or or some of those. So far, so far, it's a running theme of cops. Oh, that's not. true. Because Turner that's and Hooch, true. Hooch is the dog, and Turner is the cop. So, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Subliminal mm -hmm. and stuff. It's deep. And then there's an actual basketball game, like a real, not a Jeans Kelly Code basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm looking at my notes and it says everybody plays basketball, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second, I don't remember that scene at all. <laughs> that seems Actually, sort of odd. I had that exact same moment in my notes where I looked at it and I said, it had basketball game, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was an actual basketball game. With nets and a ball and everything, yeah. That's right. And one and somebody, I think, asked why Rick wasn't out there, which was cold. His um, one hand? Yeah. <laughs> Not he could cool. be like he he could do like guard. He could actually like dribble it, but he I don't know. I think it'd be difficult for him to make a basket this then, early on. Maybe you know as he gets more used to not having his hand. Yep. Yeah. You know they'd be calling him for carrying the ball a lot. I would think. <laughs> but um, the uh, and then and I'm I'm surprised that you've been able to contain your excitement. There's mm -hmm. a, a key key update here because Carol has found some t-shirts, which kicks the great Andrea Close Empire back into gear, because now she can start her t-shirt line. Mm. And uh, so I figured that, as I read that section there, I go, I, I wonder what Jeans is doing right now. Glazing over, probably. Uh, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> Keep going, damn it. Yeah. I, I somehow... Managed to black that out. Yep. 
Not me. Got the note. <laughs> so. <laughs> Rick takes inventory uh, of their guns and stuff, which is back in the room where they had gotten all the body armor. And, and, and this is where I was confused, because, I mean, it looks like a fairly substantial amount of stuff. Well, that's what I was saying. When, when they first go in there, you know, because Glenn mentions, hey, I found body armor. He doesn't mention, hey, I found a giant rack of shotguns, <laughs> which I would think would be, you know, high on the list of things to mention. And now, you know, when he's standing there, they've got, you know, a couple of, um, it looks like, revolvers or something, um, and then it's also got all the shotguns and, and um, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of stuff. But not enough, apparently, according to Dale. Dale does not think there's enough. Given Dale's deep Woodbury expertise, <laughs> I don't really know. We don't have enough to stop. You've been there, old man. How do you know? But, uh, but he says it's not enough, so they need to go, and what better place to go than the National Guard armory that Woodbury's been regularly raiding? Yeah. So they all take off and go, uh, Glenn, it looked like, from what I could tell, looking into the RV, it was Glenn, Maggie, Michonne, Axel, Tyrese, and Andrea. That is correct. That's what I have. That's what my notes reflect as well. Okay. Okay. They take off to go to the National Guard gun depot, and uh, then we cut back to the prison. Another shot of Rick and Lori. Yeah, just talking. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, it ends with Lori having this really sort of baleful, murderous glare in her eye, saying, "We need to talk about Shane." And then Rick looks terrified. Yep. She looks crazy in that shot. She looks absolutely like uh, all work and no. Play makes Jack a dull boy shining crazy in that mm. shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she might be. Yeah. She is carrying, a, you know, crazy Shane's baby, so maybe it, you know, rubbed off on her somehow. That was that, bad. That was bad. Yeah, it the whole <laughs> yeah, and it's like, and it's and yeah, multiple layers. She looked crazy. Rick looked fearful. I don't even want to hear this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> So, make it uh, stop! Make it stop! Uh, so, so, but that's where we stop for right. for this week. Uh, so, we'll have to find out what happens next. Yeah. So. Uh, dun dun dun. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's uh, good stuff, and it's just interesting. You know, I get another angle here in the comic that's not present in the television show was. Uh, hitting up the National Guard Armory, you know, kind of uh, uh, the one that Woodbury had been using, and so that's you know we're going to get a little more on that coming up here soon. Um, so, but but a lot, I mean, you know, and beyond these starkly different governors, <laughs> uh, <laughs> television and and the comic, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of these themes that are running very similar. So. I think. There, there's so much useful material in the comic, but they, they tended to sort of veer off in other directions in the show, um, and they, they seem to be coming back and, like, plucking out some of the more fun and interesting bits and, and um, using them in different ways, which is which is fun. Yeah, it's kind of cool when you see that moment when you're like, oh, yeah, and then you remember it was kind of lifted from an entirely different part of the storyline. Yes, like, like a little bit of Rick running over people, for example. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I love that when he gets he gets back to the prison, um, <laughs> they're like, "What's all over the front of the RV?" <laughs> oh, it's zombie juice. Oh. It's like you hit something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the. the... Martina's name tag imprinted backwards on the bumper. <laughs> yeah, it was a deer. <laughs> Name <Yeah>. Martinez. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he didn't say anything. I mean, he told Lori later, but, you know. Uh, um, well, Tyrese got all judgy last time Rick killed somebody. That is true. <laughs> so. That is true. There was a great big fight, and Rick fell over the balcony, so maybe it's yeah. best that he keeps it to himself for a little while. Yep. 
he's going to have a harder time breaking his fall now. <laughs> and so <laughs> he's only got the one hand. <laughs> look, looking to avoid the situation. Apparently, I'm the joke explainer today. All right. <clears throat> there you go. So, is there anything else for this week, Gene? I don't think not for me. Not for me. All right. Well, we will be discussing issues 38, 39, and 40. I believe this is the first time on the show I've actually made it through the entire show without calling uh, an issue an episode. So it's a special. I think so, too. Well done. Well done, sir. Thank you. Clap. It only took me how many tries? I don't know, too many. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. That's the important part. That's right. Once. <laughs> One in a row. <laughs> so... All right. Good night. Good night, everybody.